How do you price a road? Well, that question is really two questions. How do you set prices and how do you collect the money? First, we'll look at how to set prices. America has four million miles of roadway that's free to use, as long as you're moving. But if you stop, you have to pay a parking meter, because you're taking up a spot another driver could use. That's why, in an average city, you only feed meters in the daytime, when everyone wants to park. At night, parking is free, partly because at night, while you're reaching for change, a vampire can bite you and suck all your blood out then you become a vampire. And partly because nighttime is when people chill out at home. The problem is, when you drive away, you're still using up a space, you just don't pay. So here, in the market for road space, price is always zero, whether demand is high or low. That matters because social cost can be high or low depending on traffic flow. This graph is traffic flow against time of day where these are the rush hours, or peak times. Now imagine that price is tied to traffic flow. So when traffic flow shoots up at rush hour, price goes up too. And when traffic flow falls, price falls. That system is called congestion pricing. Now add in price. Raising and lowering the price pumps traffic up and down. So if we raise the price at rush hour and lower it at other times, it will stabilize traffic flow.